So hello everyone. My name is Ikemasudo from Yamagata University, and today I'd like to talk about local discrimination based on piezoelectric sensing in robots composed of soft matter with different physical properties. So this is the background of my research. The new coronavirus epidemic has drawn attention to pet robots that can be used to heal and entertain people in their homes. However, most of the pet robots are made of hard materials, and it's difficult for hard robots to communicate with people to contact like real pets. The problems of hard robots can be solved by robots made of soft materials. The soft materials gives people a sense of security and healing, which is necessary for pet robots. Also, soft robots can extract rich information from external stimuli by applying physical reservoir computing. And it's necessary to study the information that can be extracted by robots with different softness. So these are the purpose of this study. First, develop two all shaped soft robots with embedded piezoelectric sensors. Second, conduct part classification experiments to investigate the difference in performance due to the difference in softness. This slide shows the configuration of all shaped soft robots. One old model is made from silicon rubber Ecoflex 30 and the other from Ecoflex 10. Four piezoelectric sensors are placed inside the old models. This slide shows the details of data acquisition device. This device is contained inside the old models. This slide shows the workflow of part classification experiments. In the data acquisition step, we divide the old models into eight parts and acquire data. In the pre-processing step, normalization, peak detection, peak splitting, and feature extraction are applied to the acquired data. Finally, in the classification, we train logistic regression on the trained data and calculate the accuracy on the test data. This is the result of part classification experiments. The heat maps shows the accuracies for combinations of hyperparameters in logistic regression for two old models. This figure shows the difference of accuracy distributions between Ecoflex 30 and Ecoflex 10. There are some hyperparameters where Ecoflex 10 outperforms Ecoflex 30. So it can be seen that optimal hyperparameters may be different depending on the softness of the material. And this is the conclusion. So that's all for my presentation. Thank you for listening.